you're watching Tasty Tuesday Show or Tuesday, I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. So, I've been wanting to try out some new pumpkin recipes. I thought we'd make some pumpkin mac and cheese using the recipe from Edgy Veg, who, by the way, just came out with a cookbook. I just got this. I'm so excited. I can't wait to make a recipe out of it. Shout out to them, Edgy Veg. I'll leave a link in the description. They came up with a pumpkin mac and cheese recipe, and I've been dying to try it since I saw it last year. And that's what we're doing, and I don't care who likes it or doesn't like it. I'm the boss. Let's make this dish. Step one. We're going to take a small bowl and put in it the following ingredients. Three-fourths cup of milk. One tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon minced garlic, and a fourth teaspoon onion powder. Onion, you didn't. <laughs> and now we're just gonna whisk this all together until there are no clumps. No clumps, no lovely lady lumps. I think it's good. Yay. Next, we're gonna take a pot. Is this a pot or is this a saucepan? I don't know the difference. We're gonna take something that can hold liquids and we're gonna put a tablespoon of butter. I'm using Earth Balance. You could use whatever you want. I suggest butter or Earth Balance. And we're gonna do this on low, medium heat. So like that. This butter be good. <laughs> you turned on this video. Then we're gonna add to that our milk mixture and whisk. I whisk this was done already. I'm starving. Again, you chose this video. To this mixture, we're going to add a fourth cup of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one cup of pumpkin puree, which is about a little more than half of the can. And we're just gonna stir this till it's thickened, like five to seven minutes. Pumpkins can be sauces, pumpkins can be pies, pumpkins can be pumpkins. What a versatile fruit. Almost forgot, half a teaspoon salt. Or to taste. Sure. Yeah, I think that's half a teaspoon. While we're waiting for the sauce to thicken, we're going to take a small pan. It's not saucepan? What's the difference between a pan and a saucepan? There's not going to be any sauce. It's just a pan then, right? Small pan or a saucepan. It's the recipe says saucepan. I just read it. And we're going to put two tablespoons of olive oil and 10 to 12 sage leaves. And we're just going to fry them up till they're crispy. You get thick, you get crispy. I feel like a real chef with all these pots and pans going. And just like the way that it's sizzling. I'm not even doing the sizzling part, but it makes me feel like I'm legit. I'm taking credit for your sizzling. Hope you don't mind. This has got to be the most gourmet mac and cheese I have ever made, and I'm excited about it. Ow! Okay. Well, you're a little too excited, Sage. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Ow! This Sage is crazy! It's outsageous! <laughs> Who made this channel? I don't like this. I don't like it. Ow! I think it stopped. Okay, I think these sage leaves are pretty crispy now. We're gonna put them on a paper towel to dry. They smell very burnt. I don't think that was the goal, but that's okay, we're gonna continue. Okay, can I tell you a secret? I fucked up, fam. I was supposed to just now add the pumpkin puree, but I added it a long time ago. So, anyway, we're gonna add the sage oil to our uh, cheese mixture and hope everything's not completely destroyed. Ow. Cool. We're gonna now add a fourth to a half cup of cheese. I'm using diet. You can use whatever you want. Please don't be ruined. Hello? Are we friends? Oh god, I just want to do a good job. Why do I not read instructions properly? Please still work. Please still work. I have a lot of good good faith, good will, good hopes and dreams about you. Yeah. Yeah. We're all friends. Mix until melted. Mix until melted. Okay, please. Be good, be nice. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of it and see if it's not ruined. Mmm, I don't think it's ruined. It tastes pretty good, yay. Continue tasting this way. Ah, that was unexpected, whatever. Now we're just gonna cook some pasta up and mix the sauce with the pasta and then have the mix, mix, mix the pasta. Cool. This looks all right, right? This looks good. This looks, yes, yes. I think we did it. Maybe. Hmm, that's delicious. Okay, I'm just gonna let that water heat and the pasta cook, and then I'll see you when we're ready to put everything together and make a mac and cheese. Okay, our pasta's all cooked. We're just gonna drain it, and then we're gonna mix it. It's gonna be tight. Can't stop us now. <laughs> I mean, you can. You can just turn the video off. You're in complete control. I really enjoy the sound of wet pasta noodles. Like, I think that's an ASMR that I could get into. It's just, it's just. Right? Do you love it? I love it. But you know what I love even more? Probably is pumpkin mac and cheese. Give it to me. Hopefully our sauce isn't cold. La, look at that. All right, what you got? What you got? I don't know what personality I turned into, but there it is. Oh, there's the sound I'm looking for. Yeah? Are you with me? I feel like you're either with me or against me. And I understand either way. Oh, this is heavy. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Okay, 
it. I will say this, it does look like mac and cheese, which I am extremely excited about. It says to garnish with these sage leaves, they're a little bit burnt in my opinion, but maybe Steve won't notice. Gourmet AF. All right, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. Let's see if it tastes like a duck or like a mac and cheese. All right, what is it? This is a pumpkin mac and cheese with burnt sage crumbles. Burnt sage crumbles. Mm. I, it's not supposed to be burnt. I, I burnt them. Oh, good. Uh huh. Is pumpkin? It is pumpkin. This is really good. You can't taste the pumpkin so much, and you can't taste the cheese so much. Like I wouldn't say it tastes like, like mac and cheese. No, it doesn't. But it tastes. But it I, tastes I like but the it's really sauce. Good. I like the sauce. I feel like if you were in an Italian restaurant and they were like, "This is our Italian porticino sauce from Sicily," I'd be like, "Oh." I'd say, "Is okay. it special? I'll take it." <laughs> no one does that. Have you noticed that? Have you ever ordered the special? No, I haven't. I've never ordered the special. This mm. is great though. No, this it's is really good. It's good. This is edgy veg? It is edgy veg, yeah. This is really good. It's a good way to have pumpkin in like a savory dish. I would have never thought to make a sauce out of it. I wouldn't either. I would have actually probably hated on it and told him not to do it. Yeah. Probably. Which is why I should be around no technological achievements. <laughs> because I would I'd have been around Steve Jobs and be like, yo, this Apple iPhone thing. Don't do it. Don't waste your time. This is so interesting. No, this is great. Yeah, I'll right. make this. Make well, this again, please. Yeah, I will. Make I'll make this. Okay, you make this, and we'll make this, and we'll all make this, and we'll have a pumpkin good time. All right. What does that mean? I don't know. I just you made it up. Like I'm I'm writing greeting cards. There's greeting cards that are always in my head. They're like have a pumpkin good time. Like that's that's I feel a greeting like that's card. something that would show up on a kindergarten teacher's wall like during <laughs> Halloween month. But I <laughs> even as a kid I was like, sure. what the hell is this? No, no one knows. I was like, a, I remember but being that six year old kid and being like, what? But those people get paid to write, write those. Right. So, yeah. I'll take it. Hey, I did hire laugh me. the first time I saw Boo Rito, though. I was like, that's. Uh, right. Chipotle? Yeah, something like that. It's no, I, I was younger, though. I saw something else. No, nah, you were never young. Oh. Subscribe so you don't miss once. any of this, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Boo bye. Don't. <laughs>